stick around to see if these wooden bird houses from Dollar Tree actually work and if they stand against the test of time. Easy to assemble? <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned. What a wonderful What a wonderful world everybody it is Cheryl the activity author and I am here for a review and a how-to craft so let's get into it so we got these bird houses from Dollar Tree and I was just wondering to myself hmm do they actually work so I'm gonna put this together and uh, you guys are gonna stick around to see what I find out so so you guys, these are the pieces, everything that comes in the package. You got your front and back side of your birdhouse. You have the roof. Um, those are the four pieces there. And then you have your sides and then you have the bottom. And then we have some wood glue and we have a little peg for the birds to stand on like the little porch. I'm gonna actually paint this birdhouse. You don't have to, that's totally optional. But um, I wanted a colorful birdhouse, you know, something to attract the birds. So I'm going to paint mine. So everything is nice and dry. So let's start putting it together. First, you want to take the wood glue and you want to take the bottom part of the house and you want to glue um, the front and the back sides together. Now, guys, I want to show you this. I was going to take this part out, but I'm going to actually show you this because I made a, a little mistake. You know, that's what happens when you don't read the directions like you're supposed to. So I ended up, see how I'm gluing the ends of it? You're not supposed to do that because there is actually a little porch area for the birds and um, I failed to do that. So let me show y'all what actually happened when I first tried to put it together this way. So y'all see, I'm like, why is this not fitting? This doesn't make any sense. And then I look at the package and I'm like, oh, so <laughs> you're supposed to leave a little like an inch um, from, the, from the front so that the birds can stand like they have a little porch. So. I'm gonna try this again the right way and I'm using the wood glue to try to hold it in place and it's taken a long time to secure it, you know? So I'm just trying to be patient. Well, I'm actually putting the side in the front and the back together. That's Bruh. what I'm doing. And this wood glue is not holding or it's just taking a long time to hold. It's just, ugh. So here we go. I'm gonna try to put the second side. Maybe that's gonna help it kind of stabilize it as it's gluing and and while I'm waiting on that I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put the roof together so um, the four pieces you see on the left I'm gonna stick two of those together and then I'll stick the other two together and then it'll complete by making the roof so there you go I'm sticking it together like this and um, I believe the wood glue is somewhat tacky but you see it's still not really holding it it's still kind of falling apart and I'm trying my hardest guys to work with this By now y'all see that the struggle is real. It is not staying no matter what I do, no matter how long I let it sit. So it's time to bust out the big gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hot glue gun and that's gonna stick it for sure. So I'm using hot glue now at this point cause that seems to be the only way that this birdhouse is going to stand up. So don't you know hesitate to use your hot glue gun if you need to. that the hot glue is working a lot better as far as keeping this thing together so I suggest you guys use that if you get this bird set because I don't think the glue works that they provide I that can't be wood glue that's got to be like Elmer's glue or something like I'm not trying to talk bad about your Dollar Tree but 
y'all gotta get some better glue for this house <laughs> okay this is how it's looking the almost complete product product excuse me um so now you see the little ringlet that they give you i actually took it and i am screwing it to the top and it actually screws in very easily on the wood on the top so it's actually secure it feels nice and tight so that actually works and then i'm gonna try to put some wood glue here in this hole i don't know why i'm still fooling with that wood glue as y'all can see in a second it doesn't work i'm going to end up having to hot glue this little peg um, but don't forget hope y'all notice that there is an inch of wood underneath that peg that's what i was telling you about that's the little porch so you're gonna have to leave like about an inch for the um you know for the wood at the bottom all right there's that hot glue and is it gonna hold of course it's gonna hold it's hot glue And now last but not least, I'm taking the string that they provide. I'm gonna fish it through the hole and I'm just going to knot it. And that is it, our birdhouse is complete. So yeah, it is actually easily easy to assemble if you use hot glue. That, that wood glue, you'll be doing that all day, y'all. I'm just being honest. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly assemble the second house now that I know that I need to use some um, hot glue. And here is the final products. So now let's see if they hang outside. All right, so I'm gonna hang one of the birdhouses right here and let's see what happens. So as y'all can see, the birdhouse did not hold up because I actually ended up screwing it in between the wood and not in the wood. So make yeah. sure you do that if you choose to use this tree house. Now the second one, I didn't have that problem because I actually screwed it into the wood in the top and it's hanging there pretty good. So now let's see, two weeks later, did they stand the test of time? Hey guys, we're out here investigating birdhouse. This is how it's holding up. Mm. Wood is uh wood is splitting a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So y'all tell me if y'all think this is worth it, honey. It is Thursday the 10th. That's June the 10th, eight o'clock. I'm checking on this. Uh let's check on the other one. Alright, so as you can see, the second one <laughs> did not stand the test of time. No, the whole bottom of the house fell out. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it back on, but instead of hanging it, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it like on an already old nest or something, something like in a bush where they can still have a tree. Cause I think they still deserve some shelter, right? But yeah, wood is kind of lifting up a little bit, you know, it's like a fast house. <laughs> So yeah, it didn't, didn't necessarily last. Sorry, if you would like to know how to make a legit nice birdhouse, I got you. I got some crafts coming up. How to make a durable birdhouse um, using household items. So I got you, stay tuned guys. Here's the bottom to the house <laughs> on the ground. Mm -hmm. So no birds has been able to move in because as soon as we got the house done, it's time to renovate again. All right, so there you have it, my honest opinion. Would I buy this birdhouse again? No, but you guys, I promise you, watch the next couple of videos I have coming out and I will teach you guys how to make birdhouses using some pretty awesome things that you never thought you could use lying around the house. Thanks for watching this video. And make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel and comment below if you've used the Dollar Tree birdhouses and what you think. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.